Hello everyone, Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. Recently, there's been a huge in interest in text message marketing. I know here at Tatango, we've never been this busy before. And I've been talking to other people at other uh, software provider, platform companies. They say the same thing. Um, it seems like everybody right now is talking about text messaging. Now, why? Text messaging is 20 plus years old. What's going on? What has created this kind of surge or even resurgence um, for text message marketing? Well, there's two trends that I think are driving this. The first trend is email marketing open rates. So if you're in email marketing or marketing or direct marketing, you know that your open rates over the last 10 years have significantly decreased. I'm hearing some brands getting as low as 5% open rates on their email marketing messages. Now, 10 years ago, we we're talking 90% open rates. So almost kind of where text messaging, text messaging they say is about 99% open rates. That's what it used to be. So email was a very, very effective uh, marketing tool. But what has happened is over the last uh, 10 years, it's essentially nosedive down to 5%. So what is happening now is people have marketing budgets, brands, and they have um, objectives. They want to you know, uh, message people about promotions and coupons and events and things of that nature. And while they have a huge email list, statistically, no one is actually open those emails. So they're looking for alternative channels. And when you go from something like 90% down to you know, 5%, and again, that, that, that's the lowest I've heard, average email open rate is 15, 18%, depending on the, the um, industry. So I don't want to throw email under the bus here, but I do think email open rates are a huge catalyst to the surge in demand in text messaging because these email marketers, these direct marketers are looking for the next email marketing, the thing that used to have 90%. They're looking to find that. And what they found is text message marketing. 99% open rates, 90% of text messages are opened within three minutes. I don't even think back in the day you got that with email. The reason is, is on the mobile phone, everybody, I, just look around, everybody's on their mobile phone 24 seven it seems like, and when they get a text message, because it's intertwined into the, the, uh, the native app that you use to communicate with your friends and your family, when a brand communicates to you, again, it has to be opted in, always opt in uh, people, and it has to be a strict opt in in the United States uh, to comply with federal law. But when you have that kind of relationship with a brand and the brand has that kind of relationship with you where they're intertwined into the messaging that you hold dearest with your friends and family, that's a huge opportunity for these marketers. So that's the first thing. Email marketing open rates have been decreasing, so they're looking, these email marketers are looking for a new channel, and they found text message marketing because it has 99% open rates, and that's kind of what they were used to, and they saw a lot of success with email. So that's the first thing that's driving a lot of interest in text message marketing. The second one, which is only recently kind of come up, now a year ago, two years ago, it really seemed like SMS and MMS, so SMS is 160 characters, MMS is an image, a GIF, a video, plus more characters. That was kind of it, and it kind of seemed like a few years ago that was going to be it uh, for kind of the foreseeable future. Now, over the last, I would say, year, even the last six months, even the last week or two with Apple Business Chat coming out, it seems like everything is new and exciting in messaging um, and I, I don't even see, say even again because it the last 20 years it's been the same. So really nothing has changed. But now we have things like RCS business messaging. So that's more on the Android side. Then we have Apple business chat, which is on the Apple side. And these things are crazy like buttons in the text messages, high definition images, videos, uh, bots, all kinds of cool things like it really feels like an app-like experience within your messaging um, app and within talking to a brand on that messaging app. So I do see that in the future, most apps will be replaced by these RCS and uh, Apple chat um, type bots because you won't need to go to an app to do, you know, order your Uber or order flowers or 
you know, ask for the weather, all of these apps that I have on my phone right now are all I think going to be replaced by uh, these new messaging technologies because nothing is really going to replace messaging, the, the messaging icon on my mobile phone because I'm going to chat with my friends and family all the time on that. I want all those other things to live where that happens. I don't want to take it the other way. That makes no sense. So we're seeing a lot of brands. Now, RCS and Apple Business Chat, they are brand new. Some of them like RCS isn't even fully deployed yet. Um, and Apple Business Chat just got deployed on 11.3 iOS and hardly anybody has updated yet. So it's not done yet, like it's not there. But I think brands are starting to see what the future is going to look like for messaging. And they know that they have to get opt-ins uh, first. So I think what brands are looking at right now is they're saying, well, we want to build a big subscriber list of our customers' phone numbers so that when these new technologies are deployed or when they actually have you know, huge market uh, penetration or adoption, we're going to see you know, these brands going, now is the time to actually send these messages. Now is the time to build these workflows. But in the meantime, we got to build up these lists. So you have two things, email open rates, marketers are not happy and they're saying we need a better solution. I think they're they're going to text message marketing and we're seeing that here at Tatango. And then the second one, which is more new um, because email marketing open rates have been going down for 10 years. The other side, which I did not really see coming and which has only happened in the last year, six months, Apple Business Chat, that was just a couple weeks ago. Um, that's the technology and the hope for better messaging technology. Um, people are looking at it going, okay, I can see where this is going and I can see how powerful this is going to be. We need to start investing in this right now as a brand so that we're ready when that hits. So I think we're right at the, the beginning of the tsunami that's going to happen. Um, there's going to be so much demand for mobile messaging. And I think that's going to be great for everybody involved, especially the brands, um, because they're going to get the open rates that they want and deserve. Um, plus, they're going to get the features and functionality uh, that everybody in the industry has been wanting for 20 plus years. So really cool convergence um, of these two things. And I think that's why everybody right now is talking about mobile messaging and interested in mobile messaging. Again, my name is Derek Johnson with Tatango.com. That's just some of my thoughts as to what's going on right now. If you have a comment, uh, leave it below. I'd love to hear what you're thinking.